Digital Dog with Fumi Doggers. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Truth Talk with Fumi Doggers. Thank you. Yeah, and happy new month to everyone. Happy new month. This is the last month in the year 2022. Wow. We actually bless the Lord for his mercies throughout this um, throughout this year. Okay, if you are just joining us for the very first time, welcome, welcome, welcome on the show. And on this show, we dish out godly content. So thank you. We welcome you. Welcome to our channel once again. And okay, like we've all known, what we are going to be having today is something different. Absolutely different from what we've been having before. Yes, and if you've been, if you've seen it through the flyer and um, and through the awareness that has actually been flying all around before today, okay, you will get to know that it's a community talk show. It simply means that we hearing different people's perspective about the topic for today that says why you admire God. We'll be diving into the topic right now and I want you to stay tuned. I want you to stay calm. I want you to hear a lot of people's um, perspective, what, um, what they admire about God. Actually, different people at different times, we admire different things about God. So I want you to learn. I want you to sit back and I want you to gain one or two things. Thank you. What do I admire about God? I'll say it's compassionate heart. That willingness to give a man a second chance, or I'll say another chance, because without it, man can cannot exist, and this world at large cannot last this long till now. What I admire about God, yeah, um, I admire the fact that He is God, one, because God is undivine. I thought about it some times ago that what is the definition of God, and I realized that He does not have a like a conclusive definition i can't con can't just conclude that okay this is what god means and then i admire the fact that he he, he, he is god is he can function in the aspect of being a man and the aspect of being a woman i don't i don't think you, you understand that part yeah yeah i the reason why i say that is that you know sometimes you go i wonder how you know someone that does not have a mother and then when God comes in and he relates with you as a mother and the fact that when you are in need of someone that would act as a father he still comes in and act as, he, as a father at that point and it is not affecting each other so I think one more thing one last thing now yeah um, there is a song that says that he is like someone that you called to come and help you fight the war like yeah you called him to come and help you fight the war come and help me it means that i will have to be there also but he says that the song says that it will go without taking me along i came to call you to come and help me and you went there and you did not call me along and you now come back and tell me that i finished you too i thought we are going together so i like that aspect also why i admire god firstly god is not a man he cannot lie the Bible says in Numbers 23 19 that God is not a man that should lie or the son of man that he should repent. Also, God is mindful of me. He said that casting all your cares on him for he cared for you. First Peter 5 7. So, God is mindful of me. God is thinking about me. Then he says that be careful for nothing. Be careful for nothing but with prayer and supplication. Make your request known to God. Meaning that God does not want me to be anxious so much admire God. The number one reason is because the scripture says uh, he first loved us. So not that we loved him, but so he first loved us. Now coming into Christian circle, being saved, I got to understand the love of God. I labeled on the love of God. I I have an handful experience of what the love of God is all about. So when I consider the depth, the width and the height of the love of God for me, so much I admire someone so i can't i can't imagine somebody loving me just like god did so i admire god so much because he first loved me another thing is that um there's a vacuum you know the soul of a man 
always longs to be satisfied and you know people go into the different things to gratify the desires of their souls and their flesh now there's this vacuum in my soul and i also believe it is in yours that cannot be filled up by any other thing it is only god that satisfies so it is only god that satisfies the wanting the longing and the panting of my soul and because of the fact that he is the one that satisfied me i so much i so much i admire him i will tell you that i've tasted and i've tasted a whole lot of things but there's no satisfaction from them but god satisfied my soul so i i so much admire him number one is because he loved me and number one number two is uh, because he satisfied my soul i actually admire god because he's always there for me when i knew when Everybody, when I seem forgotten, forsaken, when everybody forsake me, God is always there. He shows up. He's always there for me. Every time I call on him, he always answers. Regardless of everything I have done, he is God all by himself. I love him because he first loved me. The Bible says, while we are yet sinners, Christ died for us. While we... We are sinners, why we sin, why we forget about God. Why we say, who is our God? I like sin, sin is sweet. Then he has died. He died for us, why we are sinners. He loved us when we, we are, when we are unlovable. When we are very unlovable, he loved us with immeasurable love. I love him, I love him, Jesus. Ah, I love God, I love him so much. I love him so much. He's my father. He's my father and he cares for me. He cares for me. Let's talk to you about what I admire about Christ. You know one thing about him is that in him you find everything you want in this life. He is all in all. In him I found a father. In him I found a helper. In him I found a friend. What else do we want in this life? Everything is kept in the creator. So I want us to seek him, I want us to love him more than anything else, know him experientially and unconditionally. Yeah. Over the years, I have noticed and I've seen that God is a faithful God. He has been so faithful to me in all areas of my life. And this is what I admire about him. Because he will never lie. When he says a word, the word comes to fulfill it. But most of the time, we believe that God is unfaithful. We seem to see God as unfaithful. Why? Because we fail to keep our part of his covenant, his promise. He is forever faithful to keep his own part of, of the covenant because he will never lie. So, therefore, I admonish you to keep your own part of God's covenant for him because he will surely keep his and then the promises you have made unto you will come to fulfillment. Okay, I want to talk about how much I love God. I love God so much and uh, among many other reasons why I love Him is His love, His integrity, His uh, mercy. God has been so merciful. God is gracious and so many other things. But personally, the one I know of and have experienced over time is his integrity whatsoever he says he will do he will do god is a talker and let me use, just use that language god does whatever he promises to do i love god for his integrity god speaks whenever he speaks the only thing i just wait for is just for him to speak whenever he speaks because i'm assured that he will always bring his words to pass god as integrity i love him so much for his integrity and also i love god i love god for his his love over me over me basically the if not for the love of god i wouldn't be anywhere i would not be anywhere god is so so loving he's a loving father because the bible tells me and i know i've experienced the love of god over time in my life from the onset from the beginning of my life i love god for his love his love over me it is only god that can love you unconditionally human being 
can love you, but their love is conditional. God loves you not because of what you want to give to him. He loves you because he chose to love you. The only thing that can make us not to experience his love is rejecting. Is rejecting him when you will reject God, even in the midst of rejection, he so much loved the world. I love God so much. God is loving, He's a loving Father. What I seem amazing about God now, first off, the most amazing thing about God is how He loves God is love and He doesn't have love. He is love that He shows you, He gives it to men according to he gives to men liberally scripture says that for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son the proof of lordship is given if you love someone you're going to give this is one most amazing thing about god to me now i want you to um i want you to receive all of that love because you cannot learn to love yourself you cannot love yourself without loving god you cannot learn to love yourself without knowing who truly is love do you understand it now so i'm going to just leave you with this piece of advice i want you to be very sure rest assured that God's love is coming through for you and it can heal and it can give hope again. This is the most amazing thing about God. What I admire about God, wow, God's love, like God's love is incomparable. You can't just compare it with anything on this earth. The book of First John chapter 3 verse 1 says, What manner of love the Father bestowed upon us that we are called his own. Um, the world know him not because the world know us not because they know him not. Yes, it's so amazing that um, called God's own. Imagine somebody is being called um Bwari's daughter. So I'm not even Bwari's daughter, so I'm God's daughter. God does not celebrate the wicked from the good people. So you see, if rain is falling, it falls on everyone. If sun is shining, it shines upon everyone. So God's love is amazing. I admire his love so much. And another thing I admire about God is His word. God's word never fails. His word gives life. Just imagine sometimes when you are down and you just receive God's word, it brings you back to life. So God's word, I admire God's word. His word is life. His word is life. I want to tell you the reasons why I admire God. God being God, first and foremost, He gave me His only begotten Son. He made me to understand the essence of life. Christ came to this world. He died for me. Just imagine how great that is. He died for like a whole me. God is good. And also, He gave me His everlasting life. He made me to see the world in new dimension. He made me to see the world in different area. He, he, he still now gives me the whole spirit to communicate, to dialogue, to, to teach, to bring to remembrance everything. God is just so wonderful. And also, he separated light from darkness. He made me to come into full understanding of who he is. The more I search for God, the more I know God. And the more it even seems that I don't even understand how God at all. Reason being that he is a mysterious being. Can you say why? Well, why I admire God. <laughs> why I admire God. Actually, um, the thing is, I admire God because, number one, God is God. And what I mean by that is that because I admire him because um, because he's God and he's not a man. And of course, he will not, he's a God, he will definitely not do things like man. You know how man will do things. So, and also admire God because God is friendly. For me, God is friendly. You know, when I begin to study the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 18, and where Abraham was talking to God, and you know, God was. God told Abraham that he wants to destroy the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. And and God and Abraham was talking to God, like, okay, what if you find um, um what if you find 50 people in that city? Will you still destroy will you still destroy the city? God said, No, if you find 50 righteous people, you won't destroy it. And Abraham went again, and Abraham went again to ask God, okay, what if you find 45? And God said, it won't destroy it if you find 45 righteous people. Okay, what if you find 20? And you know, and again and again, and it began to, and I was like, is Baba God now in the photo talk? Oh? Like, I was just like, man, you're talking with God. And I was like, you're talking to Almighty God. I mean, for real, I, I love the fact, I admire the fact that God is friendly. God is, God is, you know, 
he is as big as he is he's still going to come down to your level to come and play with you to come and you know to come and speak with you to come and you know help you even in the situation wherever you find yourself difficult situations that you are he's going to come speak with you come give you remind you of his promises towards that he has towards you and oh i also i admire the fact that god is loving God, God is love. I don't even know how to even explain this. God is loving. The scripture says, when we're yet in us, Christ died for. You know, when, you know, will you give a person a gift? Somebody that you know that, okay, this gift that I want to give to this person. You have it in mind that, okay, this person, when, when I give this gift to this person, this person should be like, wow, thank you. This and that and all of that. And when you give this gift to the person, the person was straight in the trash and I was like, what is this? And yet, you still did not, like, Far from that is the love of God towards us. So I admire the fact that God is friendly, God is loving, God is very, very patient. If God is not patient, there will not be any man on this planet yet again. God is very, very patient. God is very, very patient. You know, a lot of things that we do, in a lot of things that we do, you know, I didn't think we were still in those era whereby when you sin, you bring one cow or you bring one bull to come and make sacrifice. I doubt if there will be any, any animal on this planet yet again. God is very, very patient. So this is what I admire about God. I hope you've learned one or two things from a lot of people who have just spoken. Okay, so if you also have one or two things, of course you should have one, one or two things to say about God. I want you to put it in the comment section. Let us hear from you. What did you admire about God? Let us hear from you. Let us also learn from you. And I'm using this opportunity to say Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year in advance. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's another time to start again. It's another time to start again. New things. Like the video I did December 2021. I talked about plan. I thought I talked about planning. So if you've not watched the video, you can watch it. Oh, okay. I'll help you put it on one side of the video so that you can click on the video if you've not watched it. So please and please, this is a new year, this is a new time, a new era, a new season. And of course, you want to start better, you want to start brighter and stronger. So, so I'm encouraging you, if there are a lot of things you've been struggling to do or you've been procrastinating them, please, this is a year to start that thing. For how long do you want to keep on procrastinating them? So please, I'm encouraging you to start it now start it now start it now you don't necessarily need to start it you can just start it more and with time with time you keep going i pray that the lord will help us all in the name of jesus and even as and even as this new year in march we pray that the lord will open our eyes to his will to that which he wants us to do in the name of jesus I pray that the Lord will give us the mind, the strength, the capacity, the enablement that we need in this new phase, in this new journey of our lives in the name of Jesus. And I pray, is there anyone that is trusting God for one thing or the other in this new season? I pray before the month runs to an end that the Lord will grant you your heart desires in Him in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name of prayer. Amen. Thank you so much. I want you to like, follow, share, comment, and um, watch Fumi Docas's YouTube videos. You subscribe to this YouTube channel, Fumi Docas. So I want you guys to follow us on YouTube at Fumi Docas. I want you to like. I want you to watch, and I want you to share and make comments. Please subscribe to Fumi Docas channel. You can just like, share. And comment. I want us to subscribe to this YouTube channel. God bless you. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel, kindly do that. And if you've not subscribed, please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel with Fumi Dockers. Dear viewers, for more edifying and spirit filled videos like this, subscribe to this YouTube channel, Fumi Dockers. God bless you. Thank you for supporting me. I really appreciate you. Thanks for reposting. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for the encouragement. I mean, it's it's mind blowing. I really appreciate. Thank you very much. To the 100 plus 
subscriber. Thank you very much. I do not take them for granted. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.